Howdy, it's Heavy Dave in the South. Got a few updates on the abomination since I last uh, did a video on it. Uh, I got my starter fix down in there. And uh, I'm glad it broke while it was sitting here. Now, this is a piece that I've never seen before, the one that I put on there has a, a cast piece more like this one down here see that you got this piece here and out it appears yep that piece right there is cast instead of plastic so that's what tore it up dry rod after sitting up for 10 years anyway i've gotten my hood mounted since the last time and uh Everything's painted, treated. Just does clear. And my little vent, there's a vent for cabin ventilation. I have yet to put the windshield on, but that'll go on last. Uh, I have this piece cut right here. I just haven't put it in yet because I still have to weld some uh, angle iron in here for the floor and the throttle and the clutch mount. Uh, the dash is basically done. These two pieces on each side I'll be cutting last because I'll wait till I put the floor in and then cut them to fit. Uh, the battery, I've got it tagged down now in the back. I've got two pieces of uh, self-adhesive weather stripping for a little padding there and just put three pieces of angle iron on each side to keep it from rattling around while the engine's running. Now other than that, the dash is all done it runs good uh, the only thing left is back here I'm about ready to install the rear end I finished welding these today simply using an old method of using angle iron, angle iron and uh, clamping the axle together to keep it lined up welded it completely around because I had to grind a deep V in there and it filled it in with weld, ground it down so that the collar would slide over both halves and then weld the collar. Now as far as I could tell they're both straight. It's hard to tell when you're spinning it because the transmission wants to move when you spin it. That side over there is definitely, I'm pretty sure it's straight. And uh, this side I'm not so sure but like I said it wiggles around. I've got this all complete. My pulley and the jack shaft assembly the only thing that uh, will change here is the jack shaft will probably be cut off about right here. But I have to mount it first to see where it comes out in the frame. And uh, that way I've just got uh, two retainer bolts on the bearing and remove that Allen screw, the jack shaft will pop out. I've already got never seize on it. And uh, I'll be able to change the belt with ease. Other than that, that's about it. More updates as they come. Hippie Dave in the South out.